welcome to my channel, Smile There's Wine. Emily here. Hope everyone is doing fabulous out there. Happy New Year, you guys. Oh my gosh. So exciting. I am so happy that we are in 2023. Obviously, don't know what it's going to hold, but I'm just, I just feel good. Like, I feel like we're moving past the COVID stuff, even though it seemed like everyone had it over Christmas break. Am I right? <laughs> but it just feels like we're getting out there. People are happy, um, at least in my world, it seems that way. So hopefully it's the same in your world. If you are new to my channel, hello, welcome. I love clothing. I love shopping. I love, you know, just all the fun things like that, all the girly things. Um, so today I'm actually going to be sharing with you guys some really fun things that I got for Christmas. Um, some of these things are from family members or my husband. Um, some of these things are from Santa, <clears throat> you know, because I've been a really good girl this year. So Santa tends to always come in and save the day and get me all the things that I really want, which is so exciting. Um, but other than that, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to share with some things. I'm going to try my best to pop in additional pictures or links below. Um, but, you know, it's going to be... It's just one of those things. I'll try my best, basically. Um, it is a new year. I do not have wine with me. I am doing dry January, as I always do. It is hard the first few weeks, the uh, first few days. Oh, my goodness. And I'm also, in addition to doing dry January, I am doing no coffee. Um, just because of the acidity and such, I am having tea. Um, and I am allowing myself like caffeine, but just trying to take a break from coffee, essentially. Um, where did I go with that? Also, no gluten and no dairy, which is so hard because all I really, really want in life is cheese and wine. Can I get an amen? Can you guys comment below? Is that all you want in life is cheese and wine and a hot bath? <laughs> Doesn't sound fabulous. I did get some fun bath things, so I'll share that with you in a moment. But okay, um, I could sit here and talk to you all day about cheese and wine and taking a bath, but we are going to jump into some things that I got for Christmas. Yay! Okay, so we are going to start with probably the gift that everybody wanted this year the Stanley Cup. Yes, I bought into the hype and I decided to go for it. But that's okay because I really do need water bottles all the time. Being a teacher, it's like, you got to have them. <laughs> you got to have them at hand all the time, right? Um, so I'm super excited about this. My other water bottle I was using prior to this was a Yeti, and it kept things really cool, um, but it never fit. It didn't have this feature, so it never fit in my cup holder in my car. So I just had to kind of like throw it around, and <laughs> it was kind of annoying. But yes, I got the big boy of this, so excited about that. It does keep everything really cool. It's aesthetically beautiful, right? Let me drink all my water during my dry January. It has the little turn clasp so you can take the straw out and seal it. The handle's really nice. So um, I'm going to see how it goes. The only thing, even though the handle's really nice, I'm going to get real with you guys. I'm going to tell you all the fabulous things. Right? I'm going to tell you some negatives too. I feel like it's kind of heavy on my wrist. Um, so this is the bigger one. I'm not sure the ounces. I'll pop it in if I can remember. But the, um, I got it on Amazon. But there is a smaller version, which probably wouldn't be so heavy on the wrist. Um, my Yeti that's big like this has one of those top holding handles. So that's kind of nice because it wasn't, it was more you just held it down. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, I like it. It's pretty. And I'm excited to have it with me every day. Okay, this next thing is so funny, you guys. Now, if you're an 80s baby like me, you right, might remember <gasps> Sweet Valley High. Oh my gosh, do you guys remember Sweet Valley High? You had like Elizabeth and Jessica, and like they went to high school and they had their friends and all the things, right? Okay, well, when I was a little girl, I had this board game and um, totally loved it. The board game is so funny, you guys. Like, your mission is to, you know, steal each other's boyfriends and get to the your date. Like, get your date board card filled up. I'll just pull it out and show you real quick since we're talking about this. Anyways, so funny. And, like, you walk around the school. So, you could be, like, in, you know, the principal's office or mathematics. And you get, like, these little cards. Let me just show you. It's just too funny. So, like, this is Lila. And so, she has to get her teacher 
her deck party favors, her party dress, her refreshments, and her correct boyfriend to win the game. But you can like steal boyfriends. Oh my gosh, so fun. So kind of forgot about this game. And my girlfriend um, actually brought this game, not the same one, but the same, you know, the same game, not this one, but um, to our one of our girls trips. And all the girls were like, oh my gosh, we love this game. So, so fun. Um, so then I called my mom and I was like, mom, do you still have my game? And of course she's like, I don't know. <laughs> I probably threw it out with all the other stuff, right? So, um, good old Santa and Etsy came through and I got me that game and it's so fun, you guys. And I played with my daughter. Oh my gosh. And she's like tween. And so she totally thinks it's so fun. Um, but it's just going to be a staple on all my girls trips now. Fun. Okay, I did not buy into the hype of getting the Lululemon, but this is, I kind of consider the Lululemon knockoff for the belt bag, which will be really cute. Um, I like this kind of mauve color. It has an emblem, so it looks like Lululemon, but it's obviously something different. It has a nice zipper. I'll show you inside. It's quite orange, but it has some pockets. Um, and this is by, I think, Pander. I'll pop this information in. But you know what I'm really going to do with this is keep it in my car. Um, I always need, like, a car bag because, again, I'm a teacher, so I always have my teacher bag. But then if I'm, like, going to run to Target or something after, I always have, like, my keys, my phone, my wallet. And it's just, like, all this stuff. So this will be good to just throw all that in. And then I can leave my teacher bag in the car. But take this in with me and be hands-free. So I think these are really fun and cute. Um, and, yeah. So I've got the little knockoff version. Okay, so I said I had some fun bath things. Um, these are called shower steamers and super duper love these. So I'm going to go ahead and open it up. So my husband got me these and they're pretty big. As you notice, I've used one. Um, so the one I used was peppermint relaxation. You are lovely. It has these cute little sayings. So this one down here, menthol and eucalyptus, they smell so good. Um, and it tells you like what's it supporting and then this cute little saying enjoy the little things in life And there's just a bunch of them. This is a great gift for somebody. I think um, But they these are awesome. So I tried it out. It goes in the shower just sits on the floor You don't rub it on your body or anything like that and the steam from the shower um, It just helps these beautiful smells really invigorate and kind of come through and like I haven't had a cold but I'm kind of just dealing with some like almost allergies I want to say um so that totally helped kind of clear things up and it just made the whole shower smell so good and one of these things lasted longer than just one time I mean I probably only took like a 20 minute shower so um it kind of just disintegrates on the ground but it lasted about two more showers so that is really fun and they have all the directions back here I just think this is a really cute little fun gift as well okay so also being just like a dork I love to do puzzles I don't really have time to always do a puzzle but in summer when I'm off of school my daughter and I we do so many puzzles together I think we did seven last year okay but I saw this one you guys and this is like my dream life right here can we just get behind this okay look at this she's reading a book she's got her little cup of tea she's got like some yummy delicious food over here a crackling fire it's all like kind of cool outside she's got her crafting supplies some candles there's a dog down here there's a cat on her lap she's got a little computer open and oh my gosh this is so fun like I just think there's so many different um, things going on here that it's really going to be fun to look at each piece and be like, oh, this is the book down here in the bookshelf. So, or here's her tennis shoes, you know. I just thought this was a really good one and I just, I couldn't not. So, looking forward to building that this summer. All right, this is one of my bigger gifts. I have received the JBL Bluetooth speaker. How pretty is this color? This is so me. It has this great little hook latch that you can attach to a bag or anything like that. It's waterproof, which is really awesome. So this is going to be something that's definitely going to go kind of like on my girls' trips or if we go to the, the ocean or the beach with the family, being able to have this available with the little clip is super fun. I just think it's so cute as well. Okay, so here is another thing that my husband got me that I put on my Amazon wish list. This is a little headband holder, and it's just so cute. It has these little um, bottom parts over here, so it holds itself up. I have a ton of headbands, 
Um, this is only a couple of them. I keep, I buy them in bulk on Amazon. I'll list that link below. Um, but I just think they're really something fun to kind of spruce up an outfit. And so this is going to look so cute on my dresser somewhere in my room. It can hold all my little headbands and I'll have choices right there. As long as my daughter doesn't steal it. Cause you know, she's at that age, but then you can just grab a headband and just rock it. And then all of a sudden it's like you have something extra and fun on, right? Okay. My mother-in-law got me oh, my favorite candles. Um, this is the Capri Volcano, the blue. Have you guys smelt these before? Oh my gosh. They are so, so good. So you can like, you've probably seen these like an anthropology or I have like a little boutique in town that carries them. But um, I, you can also get them on Amazon, and they smell great, and they're just beautiful. There's blues, whites. You can even do kind of like colorful seasonal colors, but they just smell so good, and I really feel like they just, they do more than just the average candle. I feel like, like if you walk in somewhere that has one of these candles burning, you're instantly like, oh my gosh, it just smells so good in here. Um, so I think these are amazing. I think they're around $35, but they're totally worth the price. Okay, going back to loving to take a bath, I got this bath pillow. It is so good, you guys. It's so big. Six su suction cups, which is really nice because I had a bath pillow before, but only had maybe like three, and it would just kind of slide all over the place. Um, it also comes in this great bag, and it has like washable um, like additional bags in here. So you can throw this in the wash, which is really good. So it doesn't get all like mildewy and stuff like that, but it has multiple areas. This is not one that you're blowing up. This is just naturally kind of foamy and spongy and it is just so nice. Ooh, I love it. <laughs> and then also something I've been really wanting to try, which I'm so happy I did is this shower oil. This is by Lakaton. I don't know how to say that correctly. So, um, but this shower oil is so good. Um, it's great at shaving your legs. You put it on, it is kind of oily at first, but then it kind of turns into this like creamy cleanser. It smells so good. It's very light smell, almondy smell, but not too overpowerful. Um, I just think this stuff is so good. And like, I get so excited to get in the shower and use this just because it feels good. And then I am notorious for having super dry skin. I'm Irish. I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but I feel like <laughs> we just get drier or something possibly. Um, so this is so nice to put on and then you come out of the shower and you're kind of already moisturized. So then you don't have to go to that like additional step of having to moisturize. Um, let's talk about some jewelry I have on. So I found these at Target when I was out shopping for other people. <laughs> and at first I was like, oh my gosh, they're really big. I don't know if I'm going to like them, but I have to say, I think they're the perfect size. They're just super fun gold hoops. Um, they don't, they're not heavy. They're like the perfect lightweight. And I think they do a really good job of like framing your face. And I think they're just really pretty. Additionally, I got this little necklace. Um, and it's an E and a heart and an M. Uh, e for my daughter, heart, because I love these two. And then M for my son, Miles. And I just think it's really cute. Plus M, that's kind of what a lot of people call me. Emily, they call me M. So E, M. I thought that was cute. I'm still looking for some additional layering gold necklaces. So hopefully I'll get some in my Stitch Fix boxes coming soon. But I thought that was really fun and pretty. I also got that from Etsy. Okay, so now I'm going to jump into clothing. I was going to make a whole separate video, but I think we're just going to knock it out now because if you know me, you know there's going to be some fun clothing pieces on this list. But make sure you hang in to the end because I'm going to tell you my most favorite love item at the very end. It is, it's good. It's unexpected, but I'm loving it. All right. So let's talk about some clothing. Got this a cute little top from Treasure and Bond. Um, it's just a button up, um, but it goes down nice and long in the back. And I've seen a lot of YouTubers or Instagram people wearing this top because it is so good with the Spanx faux leather leggings, which I had not purchased. I was like, I am not doing that. No, but then <laughs> I just see more and more people getting it. And I'm like, okay, I mean, there is something nice about wearing leggings. Am I right? So 
I did it. I did not splurge on the actual Spanx leggings. I'm flipping these inside out. I got the Walmart Time and True ones. So they are, yes, they are shiny. They're not that super, super duper like plasticky shiny, but they definitely have a shine to them. And I'm getting behind this, but only if I can cover my butt. I'm sorry. Like if you want to do that for yourself you go right on ahead I'm not gonna think bad of you at all but for me I put these on and I'm like oh my gosh like my booty is not good <laughs> like uh no we're just gonna cover that up so um I'm gonna be getting more tops that have a longer kind of backside and that was one of the reasons why I got this cute top and this is so cute together um so I'll pop in a picture Okay, so let's talk about Walmart. You guys, I am not opposed to buying things at Walmart. I think there are some amazing and great things at Walmart, and they are getting better and better. In fact, I have not found anything cute at Target lately. Actually, I have one thing I'm going to show you here in a second. But, like, besides, like, these earrings and this other thing I'm going to show you, I look around Target, and I'm like, what is happening right now? Like, this is just not, it's not good. Target, I don't know what's going on. But we need to figure it out, okay? The people spending money at Target are people like me. So find me clothes that I want to wear. <laughs> not these young people. And not, I don't know what they're doing at Target. Okay, but let's talk about Walmart. Okay, I got the cutest pink teddy cropped sweater. Oh my gosh, you guys. I could literally live in this every single day. Um, this is by the Free Assembly line. You will not find it at Walmart. You will actually need to find it online, but it is so worth it. I actually have one in red as well, but I think this pretty pinky, soft baby pink color is gorgeous. And again, it's super soft. It has the little zipper closure here. Um, I love this. Absolutely love this. Additionally, I want to share these jeans with you. They're in the wash right now, so I might be able to pop in a picture of them um, in a little bit. But I absolutely love the distressing around the ankles. I have been looking for a pair of jeans like this for so long, and lo and behold, I found it at Walmart. So good. So check those out. Also at Walmart, I've been needing some boots okay i've worn these a few times so they're not as shiny and brand new but i will say after wearing them they're still super comfortable i love them this is also by time and true this has the memory foam which is amazing okay i love these i love the block heel on here so cute um it has kind of more of like a square toe i love the color combination of the brown and the black and what i really love is that this is a little bit taller here absolutely love these I'm going to be looking for more in different colors because they are so good. Okay, so I said I was going to share an item from Target. And I didn't know how I felt about it at first, but I think it is so cute. Look at this jacket, you guys. I will pop in some additional pictures because I know you can't see it that well here. But it is this brown puffer. I'm going to move kind of back a little bit. Cropped coat. And it is so cute. Now, this part at first kind of drove me nuts a little bit. I was like, what is happening here around my face? It was like kind of up in there. But you can kind of fold it over or just keep it straight. Super cute. Has these buttons. Has the slide-in pockets. Um, so it's big, oversized, but cropped. And it kind of has this really like shiny, caramely finish. So cute. Another coat that I received from my mother-in-law is this really beautiful long trench coat, but it's also kind of like a shacket, um, and it has this really pretty different pattern on it, and I just think it is really beautiful. It has these large black buttons, so this is going to be great when it's not a rainy day. It's a little bit cooler out, and you want to just dress up kind of a simple outfit. I also thought this would be really good with those Sphinx leggings, um, and so I'm excited to play around with this and see some different style combinations. This is also on Amazon, so I'll make sure to link that below. Okay, my husband also got me a pair of new tennis shoes. Look how pretty these are. So I'm doing something kind of crazy and wild, and I'm going to start teaching dance fitness classes. I know. I don't know what I'm doing. 
<laughs> but I'm doing it. Like I became certified for the last few months. I've been working really hard on this. Anyways, that's a whole nother thing. But what I noticed is that if you wear pink shoes or shoes that are colorful, it can help um, your students in your dance class follow along because I'm always watching their feet, my instructors. Um, and so when they have something bright and colorful on their feet, it's almost easier to watch. Plus, I mean, how cute are these pink tennis shoes? And they feel really good. They're nice and light. They were a great price point, And I'm super excited about these so far. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot to tell you guys about this favorite gift, Taylor Swift's new vinyl record, Midnight's. Absolutely love every single song on this record of hers. And I love my record player. I got that a few years back, but it's just a lot of fun to get records and listen to them in the dining room. Okay, guys, we have come to the moment of it all. My most favorite item out of all of these things so far is the Barefoot Dreams Blanket. Actually, I'm lying. It's the knockoff, you guys. <gasps> this is the one from Walmart. Okay, first of all, this is like my new blank blankie. Like, I tell my kids, like, don't touch my blankie. Like, this is my blankie. <laughs> um, okay, and I just need to, I'm just gonna pet it for a little bit, but I'm just gonna start by saying, I've been hearing about the Barefoot Dreams Blanket, and I'm like, okay, well, I have a lot of blankets. I have all different kinds of blankets. Yes, I'm good on blankets. Um, but then, you know, you keep hearing about it here, and you're like, I'm not going to pay that much money for a blanket. So I had watched some fellow YouTubers and they had said that the Walmart Better Homes and Garden one is just as good. And you guys, same adorable print. Okay, one side's a little bit bolder, the other side's a little bit lighter. This thing is huge. I'm going to stand up to show you how big this is. Like, it can cover my whole body when I'm on the couch. It can cover, or even in the bed, it can cover from my head all the way down to my toes. And it's still so, so, so long. Okay, you guys, like, I, again, did not need a blanket. Just was like shopping through Walmart and it's like, okay, I'm going to try it out. See if it's any good. I'm like obsessed with it. I love it. I don't know what it is. It's just like kind of heavy, but also kind of light. Um, and super duper soft. I think it was like 25 or $30. Like it was in the maybe 28. It's like in that range. I'm about to go back and buy more <laughs> just cause like I want one downstairs. I want one upstairs. And this is like so good. Now, I would love to hear who has the actual Barefoot Dreams blanket and then who has this and compare it. Like, let me know what the differences are. Maybe I'll do that one of these days. I will say I did buy the Barefoot Dreams, the actual socks, and they're great socks. They're great, but, you know, I don't know. I mean, maybe I'd be interested in getting the Barefoot Dreams robe or a robe like this. That would be super amazing as well. Like you guys, I am like sleeping with this now. <laughs> like it goes everywhere with me. I really, really like it. Can you tell? Like seriously, like this is my favorite. This is my favorite thing. So thank you, Santa Claus. All right, you guys. Well, I'm going to go cuddle up on the couch with my Stanley cup and my fake knockoff barefoot dreams blanket and just feel perfect inside. <laughs> right? Don't we all? Um, I want to know what was your favorite item for Christmas that you got? Do you have one? Can you narrow it down? Like I know sometimes we have the most silliest favorite things, but if it makes, it ha makes us happy. It's totally worth it, right? Um, I hope you guys are all doing great out there and thank you so much for watching my fun video and I look forward to seeing you guys on the next one. Happy new year. Take care. All right. Bye.